Huang Shichou was the chief designer of Xiaotong Shan Hospital, a specialist unit that opened in 2003 to treat SARS patients. On January the 23rd, 2020, the day Wuhan went into lockdown, he took out the blueprint of the old hospital and made a few notes on it. At 1 p.m. on January the 23rd, Huang received an urgent request for an emergency hospital design. The design team of Xiaotong Shan Hospital reassembled after 17 years. A few adjustments would be needed. Since Huang had already started the process, the revised blueprint could be sent to Wuhan within just 78 minutes. The shore of Jiyin Lake in Wuhan's Tsaidian district had been chosen as the site for Hua Shun Shun Hospital. Once an area of lotus ponds and low hills, now it would host a brand new 1,000-bed hospital specializing in infectious diseases to be built in only 10 days. After receiving the blueprint from Huang Shichou, 60 designers from the Civic General Institute of Architectural Design and Research along with hundreds of architects from across the country, discussed and finalized the design. It took them just five hours. However, since it was the day before Lunar New Year's Eve, no construction workers were on hand. It wasn't only doctors and nurses who headed to the epidemic front line. In all, some 123,800 people arrived in Wuhan during the week following the lockdown. More than 40,000 construction workers were mobilized for the Huo Shun Shun Hospital project. Thousands of items of equipment were also secured. Every machine worked non-stop to complete the work as soon as possible. The whole nation watched as the two hospitals were built. Huawei, China Mobile, China Telecom, and China Unicom worked together to achieve local 5G coverage within 36 hours. Chi Lu Pharmaceutical supplied the 12 exhaust units ordered from it, free of charge. Hubei Aerospace Cable shipped out flame retardant cable overnight. China Minmetals worked to complete the prefabricated steel structures within 24 hours. China Railway Construction disassembled several portable cabins it was using and sent them to the Huashan Shun Hospital site. On the sixth day of the Lunar New Year, three days before the deadline for Hua Shun Shun Hospital's completion, 600 meters of oxygen piping had yet to be welded. It was one of the most challenging tasks in the whole project. Using conventional welding techniques could create dangerous oxygen leakages. We the 金属物质融化之后去填补管道与管道之间的缝隙。The 15 workers worked non-stop for three days and nights to ensure that Huo Shun Shan Hospital was completed on time. 我们跟他讲说你必须得回去休息。再不休息就要出人命。他们坚决不走。For 10 days and nights, individual projects progressed simultaneously.
everyone was aware that the slightest mistake could result in a serious delay. With patients waiting desperately for beds, no error was permissible. All of them were the best in my opinion. 